Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off today with, X-Class Solar Flare. A big and very active sunspot complex emerged over the sun's northeastern limb yesterday. It has already produced an X-1-class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the blast on April 17 at 3.34 Coordinated Universal Time. Here is the solar flare classification chart, showing the last three days of flare activity. It shows five M-class flares thus far, and the X-class flare that occurred today. Shown here is the last 24 hours of flare activity. Notice the X flares reaches the R3 level, which means a strong X-ray equals X1. HF radio, wide area blackout of HF radio communication, loss of radio contact for about an hour on sunlit side of Earth. Observed, with this LASCOC2 filter, the CME from the 16th to the 17th are shown. The last CME occurs after the X flare. Now seen through the ink filter. On the LASCOC3 filter, the CME can be observed, expanding out through space, smoke ring CME on the left side of the sun. For the lycanthrope, out there, the moon is in the waning gibbous phase, illumination, 99%. Something beautiful happened in the morning sky. Just before the sun came up, you could see four bright planets in a row. They are lining up days ahead of an amazing conjunction between Venus and Jupiter. Paolo Bardelli photographed the planetary sprawl before sunrise on April 16 from Sumarago, Italy. Happy holiday. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.